Welcome today to our daily prayers. Here's verse two of that wonderful hymn. Lord, for that word, the word of life which fires us, speaks to our hearts and sets our souls ablaze, teaches and trains, rebukes us and inspires us. Lord of the word, receive your people's praise. If you listened yesterday, we thank God, Lord, for the years your love has kept and guided. And now we think about the role of the Bible. Um, beautiful phrase that, the word of life. This is what it is. It fires us, sets our souls ablaze. It teaches, it trains, it rebukes and inspires. It's at work in so many different ways, like God's love is. And we thank God for that. And we pray that we might hear today that word of life, which fires us. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So we are talking about Paul's final instructions to the Thessalonians. Uh, first letter, chapter five at verse 15. Make sure that no one pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. It's funny, that instinct when someone's wronged you to make things right, to set things square, to pay back a wrong when you've received a wrong, to be honest, is very deep inside all of us. And I think many uh, in our society would say that was perfectly reasonable. If you've been hurt, what's wrong with hurting someone back to make your point? But as Christians, we must remember, and God is the ultimate example of this, we wronged God in our sin. Christ did not pay us back for it, but accepted it and died in our place. And that's our role too. When we are wronged, we are to forgive. As we pray in our Lord's Prayer, as we forgive those who sin against us, not making, quotes things right, not making revenge, not getting even. And I think even amongst those of us who've been Christians for many years, that instinct um, to seek justice, so to speak, can be very strong. Lord, please help me to let go of my sense of revenge. But for those times when I've been wronged or ignored or badly treated or a hurtful word has been used about me, help me instead to forgive, as indeed I have been forgiven for the sins I've committed. A space for our own prayers now. Uh, it's a big prayer to pray the Lord's Prayer as we forgive those who sin against us. But sometimes we need to just trust in God and, and do it. And so I invite you with me to say that prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen.
And so as people of grace, we take God's grace with us. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore. Amen.